Good evening, my name is Chris Colarusso, mom's Foxboro off-road specialist. Been uh, selling Polaris ATVs here for about 13 years. And I wanted to introduce this new product line we have here, CF Moto. And um, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison between the two models from each manufacturer. We've got the C4 600 EPS versus the Polaris 570 Premium Trail, also EPS from Polaris. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the two companies. So Polaris is an off-road vehicle company that strictly makes off-road vehicles out of one factory for uh, sportsmen, okay? They have a dedicated factory for sportsmen. A little bit of a background, they've sold 1.6 million sportsman ATVs from 2006 to present. So it's quite a, quite a large number of these that are out there. Um, their biggest claim to fame was that you could buy a 500cc ATV for $59.95. So unfortunately those days are now gone. Those prices are a bit different now. And this is what we're gonna get into with a big comparison between these two machines. Uh, CF Moto, Chinese company, they're actually partnered with KTM. KTM's a part owner of CF Moto now. Uh, they haven't given us any exact data on sales volume to compare, but I can tell you that CF Moto is a number one seller of every country in volume, except for the United States in off-road vehicles. So they're a pretty big contender. Um, so the two engines, you've got a 600cc, 42 horsepower, single cylinder in the CF Moto, and you've got a 44 horsepower, single cylinder in the Polaris, and the Polaris does it with slightly smaller displacement. The big differences between the two machines when you actually are driving them though, is the way the throttle delivery in the CF Moto is, it's kind of like an all or nothing type of affair. You really got to nail it to feel all those 42 horses. You get on the Polaris and it's a much smoother transition as you ease into the throttle. The throttle mapping is definitely going to be a lot smoother on the Polaris, okay? Um, the other thing that I want to touch on is the, uh, the ground clearance and the difference between the four wheel drive system. So the ground clearance on the CF Moto and Got my trusty tape measure here because I'm kind of a stats guy. I don't like to just go by regular data, so check this out. So we're gonna go on to the bottom of the CF Moto here, and you're gonna see we're gonna have 11 inches of ground clearance. And on the Polaris, with its arch suspension arms and taller tires, you've actually got 12 inches. So you got a whole inch more ground clearance between the two machines. Uh, track width is kind of more obvious and apparent. You can probably see it in the video um, you know, all full-size ATVs are 48 inches wide. The CF Moto has a two inch narrower track than the Polaris does. And the track width is measured, measured from the inside of, of the tire to the inside of the tire. So what, what that translates into is better, you know, better handling, more confidence. You're less likely to roll this than you will this. Now here's the, here's the big difference is the tires. So these are basically a one ply tire. Um, and they're, they're very inexpensive. You know, you don't, you don't have as good a quality tire on the CF Moto as you do on the Polaris. Whereas Polaris, they use a three-ply tire. Now, the, the amount of plies means stiffer sidewall. So when you have a stiffer sidewall, it's not gonna roll over in a turn, whereas a softer sidewall is gonna be squishy and roll. So you got a narrower track, squishier tires. So which one's gonna be more confidence-inspiring? Obviously, you're gonna be on the Polaris. Um, other than that is your wheelbase. So the wheelbase is the distance between the two wheel hubs in the center here. The Polaris is an inch longer versus an inch shorter on the, on the CF Moto. That translates to better handling over rough terrain. When you're going down a straight whoop section or something like that, um, you're, you're going to feel a lot less shock um, between the two machines. Which brings me to my next point. I'm going to bring Phil on here. Sales associate Phil to the stage, please. All right. Why don't you have a seat on the Sportsman 570 first, okay? So the first thing we're gonna demonstrate in the two power steering systems is, I'm gonna have you put your hands on the handlebars, all right? And now with the key off, I'm gonna kick the front tire. You ready? A Little bit of a shock there, right? You can feel it, all right? Now I'm gonna have you turn the key on. Don't start the engine, just turn the key on. So watch this, I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'll kick it just as hard. 
More or less? Definitely less. Okay, very noticeable, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that is a result of a torsion tube that is inside the power steering system that once it's activated and it has electricity to it, it is able to react to anything that the front tires hit, instantly creating less of a shock for the rider, all right? So you can go ahead and switch that off. And now go ahead and sit on the CF600, all right? And we'll do the exact same thing, all right? Ready? Decent amount of shock, right? Go ahead and turn it on. Exact same thing, right? All right, so that, my friends, is the difference in technology between your two machines. No torsion tube, no feedback, okay? Now we're gonna go one further. So I'm gonna have you actually start the engine. Now go ahead and try to steer it. Pretty easy, right? All right, now, now cut it. Now try to steer it. Lot, yeah, lot more resistance. All right, one more time back on the Polaris. <laughs> so, key off, go ahead and try it. It's gonna be some resistance. Now key on without starting the engine. Now without even using both hands, I want you to take two fingers like this and try to steer it. Pretty easy. Okay, so. Electronic brushless motor power steering versus electric power steering. Electric power steering doesn't do anything until you start the engine and you turn it on. Now, to real world situations where you're driving down the trail, you're going, say, 15, 20 miles an hour in high range, and you, know, you start steering on the CF Moto with its narrower track and squishier tires and overcompensating power steering system, it's gonna be like really jittery and you're not gonna feel very confident. Polaris does the exact opposite. The faster you go, the less feedback and assist it provides because you don't need it. Kind of like when you're driving your car. You know, when you're switching lanes at 80 miles an hour, you don't wanna have the same amount of steering feedback and response that you do when you're parallel parking, right? So there you go. So those are your, those are your differences there. Um, and you can go ahead and hop off, Phil. Thank you. Happy to be here. All right. So, now we're gonna move over to the, to the discussion on the, on, the, uh, on the price point. So you got a pretty big price point difference between these two machines. These are the same class machines. They're both supposed to have the same amount of features, which they do. I'm gonna do a quick walk around. So you got starting with a CF Moto. You've got alloy wheels. You've got a front rack here. It's a, it's a plastic rack that's reinforced metal. Uh, it comes with a winch. It's a 3,000 pound winch, which is made by CF Moto, okay? And you've also got these Bark Busters, um, power steering, a couple of other features you can't really see on the camera, but you've got a dual port uh, USB charger, and you've got a 12 volt charger socket, just for regular charging. And you've got two drive modes, all right? With four wheel drive diff lock, which is activated by a separate button. All right, moving over to the Polaris. You've got three drive modes, all right? Two wheel drive, four wheel drive, four wheel drive, active descent control. So this is where the similarities really end between the two machines because this is a full on demand electronic all wheel drive system which doesn't involve a diff lock. So there's one less thing you have to do and it instantly engages the four wheel drive as opposed to taking about an entire wheel revolution to do that. So that translates into you probably getting stuck versus not getting stuck in this one here. So just to kind of wrap up the other differences between the two or similarities, you've got alloy wheels in the Polaris, you've got a front brush guard, which the CF Moto has kind of just like a bumper, not really a full brush guard. You've got a rack extender um, and you've got an LED upper light and two headlights, whereas the CF Moto just has the LED lower lights here, all right? Um, and that pretty much wraps up the two machines. You do get a 2,500 pound winch out of the Polaris, so you have a little bit less winch capacity. Now here's the big difference. Maintenance cost is gonna be something that's gonna be in everybody's mind. You know, you, you walk into a Polaris dealer, you have a brand loyalty, like, you know, I've been here a long time, I've got a lot of loyal, brand loyal Polaris 
owners, and you, it, it's kind of a tough thing to overcome. Some people never heard of CF Moto. They don't know what it is. Never heard of it in their lives. You have to kind of warm them up to this brand. Um, but a lot of people will still pay the extra money for the Polaris because, you know, you got a 25-hour first service on both machines. So you got a $300 cost on this one here. You just do an oil change, fluid change, kind of retorque everything, make sure everything's good, uh, versus a valve adjustment, same first service oil change, all that. You're going to spend almost $1,000 for the first service on this. So some of that money you saved buying it in the first place is going to come right back on your first service, as opposed to basically $320 on this machine here, because you don't need to do that valve adjustment for a much, much longer interval, OK? So there's kind of an offset there. Um, you know, and overall, uh, you've, you've got a good value on either machine, you know. Hopefully I answered anybody's questions that you might have still had about the two manufacturers. Um, other than that, great product. Come down to Moms, check them out. We've got lots of the CF Motos in stock, and we've got quite a few of the Sportsmans in stock as well.